This video is brought to you by Storyblocks Audio. Hello? What the? Hey guys, Janik here for Cinecam.net and welcome to a scary copycat Friday. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't contain myself because Halloween is my favorite holiday. I'm a real horror fan. Name one horror movie and I've probably seen it. And if not, I'll watch them next week if you leave me some good ones in the comments below. Like I said, next week is Halloween and this is the perfect opportunity to watch some scary movies. Or even better, to make them yourself. And we want to help you with that. In this week's Copycat Friday, we are going to show you three commonly used horror effects. And also, I'll try to explain why these effects are so scary. But first, let's start with the whole horror jar. Why do people want to be scared? Well, this is quite simple. Dopamine and adrenaline. When watching horror movies, you get scared and then your brain jumps into action. Releasing dopamine and adrenaline. This is a natural reaction because if you get scared, you want to escape from that. You go into a survival mode. And this dopamine and adrenaline fires up your body, ready to get going. So the fact is that we horror fans are just like adrenaline junkies. Now, what makes a horror movie so scary? Well, you have different factors. You can go for the gore and scare people with a lot of blood and dismembered limbs, or you can go with the typical possessed demon effect. When talking about horror, you also need to mention sound effects and music. Without sound, your movie immediately loses a lot of the scare factor. And you know what is perfect for scary sound effects? Well, our sponsor Storyblocks Audio. Every sound effect you saw in the sketch came from them. It's a huge online library which we always use for our project. You want scary sounds? Well, they have it. Maybe some sci-fi? You got it. They really have a vast variety of sounds. But besides sound effects, they also have music and even loops to make your own songs. As you can see, Storyblocks Audio is the perfect tool for every filmmaker. And if you want to start downloading right away, go to the first link in the description below. Now the first effect that we are going to show you is about possessed items. With all the recent Annabelle movies or everything from the Conjuring universe, you've probably seen moving dolls or crosses. Well, this is a typical horror effect, which can be easily recreated. Let's start with the cross. This is a must-have effect in your possession horror movie. What we did was using a fake wall where we could attach a cross to with a screw. Then when needed, you can easily turn around the cross from the back of the fake wall. Also, to give it something extra in another shot, you can make the cross shake heavily to resemble a demonic possession. Wright made a video one year ago about the visual effects from the movie The Nun. Here they explained some cool effects, among which the cross turning. They did it with a fishing wire, which is also a perfect way to achieve the effect. Inspired by them, we thought to ourselves, what can we do with fishing wire? Well, we came up with the head turn of a doll. Also a classic horror element, and it works with the same principle as the cross turning from Film Riot. Just attach the fishing wire to your doll there head, and when you want, pull the wire slowly. This will make the head turn in a very creepy way when done right. Now when your wire is visible in the shot, you can easily mask that out in post-production. 
Hello? A tip when choosing your doll, try to pick something like a typical girl doll. Or if you don't have that like us, something that looks a bit scary. We took these marionettes I had laying around at home. I don't know where they came from, but if you guys do, let us know in the comments below. But what is the story behind dolls and horror? Well, dolls are toys for kids and embody innocence. And for that innocence to be contaminated by something evil or corrupt is a very disturbing aspect for us. Now another aspect that can be somewhat disturbing to the viewer is the location of the scene. Of course you can make every location scary if you want, but in my opinion the scariest place for a horror is the home of the leading role. And the perfect example for this is the movie Lights Out. In the intro they show you a menacing silhouette that is only visible when you turn off the light. Well, it is scary if you ask me, but it can be scarier because the intro is set in a factory hall. Now when the movie progresses, the menacing silhouette takes over the home of a family. And this is already a lot scarier to me. Because your home is a sanctuary of safety, nothing can harm you in your home. But this also makes it super scary when something invades your home or even possesses it. You can't run to a safe place because they took it from you. And this also leads me to the second effect, the menacing silhouette from Lights Out. For this effect you'll need two shots, one of the actor playing his scared role flicking with the lights and one of the silhouette standing in the dark at the back. These two shots need to be filmed from a tripod as we are going to combine them in post-production. Now for the light we didn't do anything special except for a gentle backlight behind the silhouette. Now speaking of lights, I think Jordi wants to say something. I quickly want to talk about these lights right here, guys, which are the brand new Aperture MCs. These are uh, RGB lights, pretty cool, and I see that we've got some lightning up there. Yes, they are magnetic as well, and they are packed with a ton of features, a ton of effects such as television to uh, emulate a television, of course. That is pretty cool. You can just attach them anywhere you want, and we are using them throughout the entire shoot right here. Yeah, that's right, Jordi. These are also the lights we use as a backlight for the silhouette. They are a must-have on the set. But let us continue with the effect. In Premiere Pro, you can put your actor's clip on track number 1 and the clip of the silhouette on track number 2. The first thing you now can do is create a mask around the silhouette. This can be pretty rough and also needs to be feathered a bunch. Now look for the point where your actor turns on the light and here you can make a cut in the silhouette clip. Then again go further in time and look for when the light goes off. Again make a cut here. When you make these two cuts, delete everything in between them. Do exactly the same for the rest of the clip. Every time there is light, the silhouette needs to be gone. If you want, you can make the silhouette a little bit darker with the Lumetri effect. And that's really it. Now for the last effect we are going to play on the people they're discussed. Like I said in the beginning, gore is a very popular and efficient horror type. A great example for this is the Evil Dead or every Saw movie ever made. Here they scare people by focusing on graphic violence. There is something about theatrical mutilation that really scares the shit out of you. And this is exactly what we are going to do in our effect. As you could see in the sketch, we ended the video with a nail breaking off. Again an effect which you can easily create with some practical effects. And what do you need for this? Well, some skin colored clay, fake blood and fake nails. Just put the clay on your real nail, add the blood to it and then put the nail on top of it. Then the only thing left for you to do is act like you are being dragged away and put pressure on the nail. These will then automatically come loose and will disgust your viewer. <laughs> And that was it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and we didn't disgust you too much. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, thank you Storyblocks Audio for the support and like always, stay creative. I am very much afraid of spiders, Jill is too. What I did was just put a piece of tape on this plate and Jill is probably gonna think that I'm gonna scare him by throwing the spider on him. Ah, spider! <laughs> Look at the fear in his eyes! <laughs>